when Suzanne and I were breaking up, we were talking about how long we should wait before hanging out as friends. You know, she was saying she needed some time alone to sort of process the breakup. And I was like, okay, I understand that. Like, how long do you think you need? She said, I don't know, maybe like a month. I said, okay, so you want me not to like contact you for like a month? I said, yeah, don't contact me for a month. And I said, okay, I won't. So I didn't contact her for a month. And then after a month, I contacted her and I was like, hey, how you doing? And she said, I'm not ready to talk to you. I said, okay, how much time do you think you need? She said, I don't know, maybe like a year. I'm like, a year? <laughs> she said, yeah, give me a year. And I was kind of bummed. I mean, I, she, was, she was my wife and I was hoping she'd be my friend, but she wanted a year. But I was like, okay, I mean, if you feel like talking before then, feel free to reach out to me, but I'll give you a year if that's what you want. She said, yeah, I want a year. I said, okay. So I waited a year and then I called her. And I said, how's it going? And she said, I'm not ready to talk to you. I was like, well, how long do you need? She said, I don't know. I'll call you. You don't call me. And she was kind of hostile, like more hostile than she had been when we were breaking up. And I was like, okay, fine. And then, you know, a few years go by. And one day I'm thinking, I wonder how she's doing. I should really just call her and reach out. So I call her and she's like, what do you want? Why are you calling me? I don't want to talk to you. I told you. I said, well, I'm just calling to say hi. And she said, no, I, I can't talk to you. Leave me alone. And I was like, what the hell is going on? And I, you know, she hung up on me. And I thought it was weird that the more time passed, the more hostile she became. And I was like, this is so weird. And, you know, I had this experience after we broke up where I was feeling really guilty about the breakup. Like I fucked up. Like, I, you know, I felt, I felt responsible. I felt bad. I felt like a bad person. I'd failed. And I went to see this channeler who channeled this uh, entity named Raj Poor. And I said to Raj, you know, I feel bad about the breakup with Suzanne. You know, you have any advice? And he said, you two were meant to come together for a certain period of time and then to go your separate ways. You were never meant to stay together. And what needed to happen, happened. Your life course was fulfilled and there's no blame on either side you had to break up you had no choice that's what it was meant to be for both of you so you don't have to feel bad about it and i was like oh thank you so much that was such a relief to hear that like i needed someone to tell me that it was okay that i didn't have to feel bad but i'm assuming suzanne never had that and so maybe she just still felt bad about it. And maybe she just felt guilty. And, you know, when you feel guilty, you have to sort of make the other person, you know, bad because you can't handle the guilt. And so you want to give it to them. So she kind of had to like make me into some kind of monster. And, you know, every few years, you know, I reach out to her and I'm like, hey, Suzanne, you know, just checking in to see if you want to, you know, talk or be friends. And she never responds. 